Students, today we are going to do um, lessons 15, 16, and 17 combined in this unit. So the three questions we're going to look at are, how do certain design features slow down the transfer of energy into a cup? How can we design a cup system to slow energy transfer into a liquid inside of it? And three, how can we improve our first design to slow energy transfer into a cup system even more? The cold cup challenge. So your, te your team of students, uh, usually a team of three or four, are going to work together on this. Problem, ice drinks bought from coffee cups and restaurants warm up and water down too quickly, especially on warm, sunny days. Stores sell reusable cups that keep a drink colder for longer and reduce environmental impacts, but these cups can be expensive. Goal, using everyday materials, you're going to design a cup that uses the best design features we know to keep a drink as cold as the store-bought cups do. So what we have done over the last month is look at a variety of different cups to see how they work and how they keep drinks from cold. We've used styrofoam cups, paper cups, metal cups, and plastic cups. In all of these cup features, we've seen pros and cons in why they keep the drink cold or doesn't keep it cold. So what we're gonna do in class is I'm gonna give you some choices. So on the left-hand side, you see the picture of a variety of materials. So what you and your team are going to be able to do is I'm going to give you a standard 16 ounce cup. And with that cup, your team is going to work together to design a way to enhance it or improve it so it can become the most efficient cup. Your team will be given three choices of materials. So if you look on the right hand side, those materials are craft sticks, a maximum of 30, a sheet of aluminum foil, a sheet of regular felt, a sheet of firm felt, a sheet of styrofoam, yarn, a, a small sheet of bubble wrap, thick cardstock paper, cotton balls up to 25, or cling wrap. So your, your group is only going to be able to pick three items. And with those items, you are going to enhance your cup and build upon it to make it so it can keep your drink colder longer. And you're gonna be competing against your classmates to create the best cup. The way you're gonna to use to attach these items are either glue sticks, hot glue sticks, rubber bands, or masking tape. Then, before you get started, your group must discuss the design features you think that will slow the energy transfer down. You're going to decide which three items you're going to want to include. Once when you've discussed that, you're going to sketch your design in your journal. You're going to put those three items in your journal and label it. And then you're going to slow, briefly talk about how each of those will slow down the energy transfer. So that is day one, designing it and getting your materials and getting started. You will be given this on a later date. So we'll come back to this. That's the end of the first day's work. Day two, this will be projected on the board. And what you're going to do is you're going to spend the entire day building your cup, cup with your teammates. Remember, you need to make sure you can pour cold water into the cup. Remember, your goal is to make sure your cup stays cold with very little temperature change. Remember, we want it to stay cool on a warm summer day. And I want to give you a hint. What type of energy will we be likely using? You must be done on day two because our experiment is on day three. Be productive with your time. Make sure your area is clean before you leave. And if you are disruptive, you'll be ejected from the lab and you'll do alternative work. So here is a sample of last year's groups. The cups at the bottom are placed in a circle evenly distributed from the light. And what has happened is they have used temperatures and we're going to do a starting temp and an ending temp on these kids' activities. So that's the end of day two. Day three is a review of the problem. And then you're gonna answer these questions in your geo journal after we fill out the chart that was displayed on this day. And this chart will be filled out against your competing teams.